In this video, I want to show you how to install FIDOS on a laptop or a PC or to run it from a USB key also. Step one, you need to download FIDOS from FIDOS.com. Open your web browser. Go to FIDOS.com. It is in Chinese, so your browser will prompt you to translate it. If you want to translate it, go ahead, click English and translate it. Click on Download Experience. And here we need to download the FIDOS for PC. So click on Download. While FIDOS is downloading, we need to download Balena Etcher from Balena.io and install it. So open a new tab, go to Balena.io. Hover over more products and then click on Balena Etcher. Here it detected that my operating system is Windows, so it prompted me to download the Windows version. Click on Download and wait for the download to finish. And then click on it to open it so that we can install it. So I'm clicking here Show in Folder and double click the Balena setup program. This is the license agreement. Click I agree. And then the Balena Etcher program will install. Just follow the prompts to install it. And here it is installed. Now, when FIDOS finished downloading, we need to prepare a 16 gigabyte or more USB key and flash it with FIDOS using Balena Etcher. So here I inserted already a 32 gigabyte USB key and I'm starting Balena Etcher from the start menu. You need to select the file that we downloaded from FIDOS. So this is the operating system image. Click on it and then click on open. Then we need to select the USB drive. So click on the selection of the USB drive. If you have more than one USB drive, make sure you select the correct one because it will be completely wiped. Click on continue and then click on flash when you make sure that everything is correctly selected. The flashing process consists of three automated steps, decompressing, flashing, and then validating. It takes approximately about 15 minutes. So I am accelerating the video here. And here the flashing operation is almost finished and now it is finished. At this stage, we need to take the USB key and go to the PC or laptop we need to install it on and then start from it. So we need to boot the laptop from the USB key, insert it in the laptop. And while it is booting up, press the keyboard shortcut that will take you to the boot menu and choose USB storage device. Here I have a Dell, so I pressed F12. You can find in the description a list of hotkeys for the popular models. And now FIDOS is starting from the USB key as you see. If you want to use it from the USB key without installing it, just follow the prompts and keep on using it this way. But here I'm going to show you how to install it on the hard disk. So we need to go to the terminal window, press Ctrl Alt F2 on the keyboard to go to the terminal window. The login is cron os there is no password so type in cron os one word and press enter at this stage you need to identify the disk you need to install fidos on type in the command lsblk and press enter and you can identify the disk by its size make sure you identify the correct disk because everything on the disk will be completely white by the way i'm gonna put all the commands in the description below. So to install FIDOS, we need to type in this command. Careful because your disk might be different than SDA. So it might be SDB, SDC. When you're prompted to continue, type yes on the keyboard and press enter. And here I'm accelerating the installation. It takes exactly 10 minutes, 34 seconds to install it. This is on my laptop. It might be different on yours. 
So after the installation finishes, you need to remove the USB key and restart your PC. And now your PC will restart from the hard disk with Fido S installed on it. So here I'm removing the USB key, I'm restarting the PC, and it is starting from the hard disk, as you'll see. The first time it boots from the hard disk, we need to do some configurations, and this is done only once. So here I'm clicking on the regional settings, and I'm selecting the language to English United States. Of course, you can select the language you want. Click OK. And then here I'm selecting the time zone. So select the time zone that you are in. And then when you finish selecting the time zone, click on OK. And then click on Let's Go. It will detect the wireless networks. Connect to your wireless network, as I'm doing here. So I'm putting the password for my wireless network. And then I click on Connect. It takes seconds to connect. And now you can click on Next to continue. This is only once you need to do all this. Scroll to the license agreement end. Read it if you want and click Agree and Continue. It will check for updates for a couple of seconds. And then it will start. Here it reverted to Chinese. I don't know why. There is a workaround for this if you want this to be displayed in English. This is basically here it's telling you to put your telephone number. This is the email option and this is more options. But the workaround to display this in English is to browse first time as guest. I'm going to do it. So I'm going to click on the bottom left corner as you see browse as guest. Once you browse as guest, it will be in English. We are going to exit the guest mode. Here exit guest. Give it a moment and you see it will be displayed in English. So, the first time, if you don't have a Fido S account, you need to create one. To create one, you click on More Options and Create Account. You need a telephone number that can accept SMS messages, text messages, and you need an email account to create it. I've already created mine, so I'm going to log in with my phone number. Next, it will ask me for my password, and this is my password. Next. This is the first login. It will open Chromium directly. You can exit if you want. And these are the applications on the left here. These are your applications that are already pre-installed. So you have some applications, and you see here you have an application called Android. This is the Android settings that will allow us to install the Google Play Store. I'm going to get back to this in a couple of seconds. On the right here, you have your settings. And you see here we are connected and we are signed in. And there are other bunch of settings. So now let's go and activate Android. To activate it, you need to click here. And then if it doesn't appear here, just click on the arrow and click Android. At first launch, it's going to ask you to agree with the license agreement. So click Agree and click on Launch. And you see this is the Android settings. Once you accept the license agreement, Google Play Store will be downloaded in the background. You don't see anything here. If I click here, I'm going to see that it's downloaded and it is turned on now. But you don't see any application here. So to make it stick here, you can either click here to open it and then right click and choose pin. Or also, if you missed this notification that was here, what you can do is that you can go to search and put Google Play, hit enter. And you see the first one here, just click on it. It will be launching the Google Play directly. It's not from the internet. This is the application. So it's not a web app. It's an application that is installed. I'm going to close the browser. 
and this is Google Play. The first time you need to sign in. So don't forget to pin it here just to make things easier for you. And it will be pinned here always. Sign in now with your Google account. I'm going to cancel the updates so that I can sign in and we'll leave the updates to be installed later. This is a sign on screen of Google Play. So I am logging in with my Gmail account. Put your password. Click on next. Agree to the terms. You're free to choose here the option you want. I'm going to leave it as it is. And here you have your Google Play Store. It's open. You can install the application you want. Let's close the Google Play Store now. I'm going to show you now the Fido S Web Store also. So click on this to expand it. I'm going to click on the Fido S Store. It's basically a web extension store here. So also here you have some apps that you can install. SoundCloud, Dropbox. So this is the Fido S Web Store. I'm not going to install anything from it. Don't hesitate to comment on this video and tell me your opinion about Fido S or other operating system you're using or you want me to do videos on. I want to thank you all for watching and I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up.